Hi everybody, welcome back to Just Dream Guide. So I wanted to go more into detail with the love reading. Let's see what's happening in love with us. Messages from the heart, you guys. Messages from the heart. This is going to be very, very heartfelt. Chaser, somebody's coming after you. I'm coming for your love. Chaser, chaser's on the horizon. That's good news, guys. That is good. You were once, what, what was once being chasing, you were chasing, chasing, chasing somebody or something. And somebody is now coming for your love, chaser. Okay, drowning in thoughts of you. They are drowning in thoughts of you. They cannot, I can't get over you. I keep thinking of all the little things, drowning in thoughts of you. Okay, they are definitely in control. They've controlled this whole narrative for a long time. BDSM and control comes in. And you know what that means, especially what this card means. Y'all be careful when y'all <laughs> when y'all get with whoever I'm talking about because I, um, sounds a little spicy. Spice, 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 okay, you guys? <laughs> They may be an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or they may have just been in their head about this whole thing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. But Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius is very important, or maybe they have those placements in their chart. That means the the not just the sun sign, you know, your ascent sign, ascendant sign, and your um, your moon sign, things like that. And your Venus sign is important when we're talking about love. Like, where's your Venus planet at? If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, you know, hit me up. Where I'm, I do birth charts as well. So hit me up. I do birth charts and I help people find out their personalities based on where all the planets are placed when they were born. Okay. We also have fire sign comes up. Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. And they um, also may be just very, very passionate. But fire sign, absolutely fire sign and air sign. They may have all these in their placements, which is kind of funny. <laughs> I know I have a Sagittarius. Uh, no, I have Scorpio in my moon sign. I'm a Scorpio moon, and I'm deep as the sea, baby. Whew. Okay, they want to put things out in the open. They want to see, did we make the right choice? They're questioning their decision on this. Did we make the right choice when it comes down to this connection? Did we make the right choice out in the open? They want to put this relationship out in the open. Earth sign also comes up, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. That I'm speaking to or speaking about. Maybe your connection is with this person. Or they may be a really grounded individual. Okay, we have guarded. They're avoiding emotions. I can't handle this, so I run hoping the problem disappears. So the good news is this person is changing their behaviors. They used to run. They used to be this person. Very, very guarded. And they're changing their ways because they want to get out in the open. They definitely have been drowning in thoughts of you. Drowning in so many thoughts of you that they're changing the narrative. Now they're coming to chase you. Okay, they're chasing you now. And then we have winter time, December 21st through March 20th. So that's important. That's a significant part on time. During this connection, for some reason, winter time is here. Winter time. Let's get a little bit more information and see what's going on with this love connection, you guys. A few more cards. Let's see, let's see, let's see. They're thinking of what to say. They definitely are still thinking of what to say about this whole situation. They want to be with you because it says, I want to lay with you until I'm old. If you only knew how beautiful you are. Isn't that beautiful? That's amazing. But they're still just thinking of what to say. They, they're so used to being the person who runs away and is guarded. So they're changing their ways so much that it's shocking them. And they have to get used to it. It's like being in a whole new body. And being in a whole new body requires adjustment completely. You know, it's not just like you can get into a new car and know how to drive that mug. If you have never driven a certain car, you don't know what's going on. You don't know the controls. I mean, of course, generally, it's the same, just like a regular car, like any other car. But, like, for instance, you say now you have an upgraded sports car. How do you drive that? Even if it's a if, even if it's a manual, you know, like, even if I could just put it in drive and go, it, it, the gas pressure is different. How, do, how, how much gas do I put on this? How much brakes do I put on this? Um, you know, different things, different things. What are the controls for the AC? So they're just getting used to their new, new self. And being used to their new self, they're trying to find ways to not be triggered in this avoiding emotion anymore, avoidant. So they're trying to face their emotions. They know that they can do it now. They're no longer guarded. So they're chasing you, but they're trying to figure out what to say. So give them a minute. They're getting used to a new car. <laughs> give them a second, okay? BDS and sell again. Conversation. Can we maybe talk about it over coffee, tea, anything? This person wants to talk. They want to have a conversation about this whole thing. Like, you know, uh, regarding what happened, why they were running, why they, you know, were running away from their emotions, what caused them to be so guarded. And they want to let you know that they're done with that. They're going to let you know that they are now wanting to chase you. They're coming for your love. They want to be out in the open with this 
They want to show the world how great y'all two can be together, okay? But it, right now, like I said, they're still getting used to their new uh, new self. So they, they like, I need to be alone right now. You know, space is healthy, self-growth, self-discovery is needed. See, they're not... I said that you got to discover how to use your new your new gifts, your new ways of thinking. So they just healed. And because they just healed and this is fresh, again, it's like, uh, let's say it's like getting out the hospital. You know, you just got out of surgery. <laughs> they just got out of major spiritual surgery. And so you have to give them a moment in order to adjust to going back to really everyday life. But they want to lay with you until they're old. They really, really, really want this connection. They really, really are still drowning in thoughts of you. They just need to figure out how to say it. They are still just thinking of what to say, okay? Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to pull two more cards and then wrap this up, you guys. I hope this information is helping somebody. One, two. Let's see what the second card is. Two. Okay, they're hiding, disappearing, confused, unbalanced. They're a little bit still unbalanced. Again, like I said, they're getting their footing. They just got out of spiritual surgery. So you got to give them a chance to walk again. They have to figure out their emotions again and, and know how to do it in a healthy way. So they're healthily in a good way. Is that a word? <laughs> they're doing it in a healthier way. <laughs> they're doing this in a healthier way. They're finding ways to deal with their emotions in a help, healthier way. But don't worry because they are pierced on you. Their eyes are on you. They may have blue eyes, but their eyes are definitely on you. Deep, calm, piercing, and peaceful. They look at this as a great thing. So they're, you know, slowly but surely getting getting it together. Again, they, they just got out of surgery. They can't just immediately get up and walk. They can't, you know do the things that they used to do and brown eyes comes next brown eyes somebody is just definitely just being warm about it being very loving about it they may have brown eyes or they just may be loving brown or blue eyes comes up as well brown or blue they could be a warm warm spirit <laughs> like a cup of coffee make you feel all warm inside or this person could have blue eyes and be you know peaceful calm you know piercing because they're on they're on to you they love you they want to be with you let's get one uh, or two of these love cards and see what they are let go of control issues i got two control cards that came up two control cards that came up you guys two of them bdsm and control that means both of you guys are trying to be controlling over this situation let go allow this situation to unfold naturally. Again, let this person heal. Let this person finish healing. They're healing. Okay? They've done the work. Let them heal. Let it unfold naturally. It's going to happen. Let both of you guys let go of the control. Because it's double. It came up double. Okay? Keep an open mind. Okay? You also have to keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So you might have thought that this person was your soulmate and then they changed up how they were or whatever. And they become a new person. You got to keep an open mind on this. Okay? You have to change your thoughts. You might have thought, okay, well, when we were together, you used to like grapes. Now you like strawberries. Like, I mean... Your soulmate may be different or to other people in this collective reading, you guys may be dealing with someone who is definitely, you know, somebody completely different than your usual type. You know, you might have typed yourself into a certain person. They have to be this person. They have to be this kind of, um, you know, they have to have long hair and you meet somebody with short hair. They have to have, um, you know, perfect, beautiful eyes and you meet someone who, you know, has just regular, just... You know, similar eyes. Like, some people have re weird uh, types. They're like, oh, I only date women who have, you know, the little, the the, 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 the tight eyes situation going on. And some people only date people with big lips or, or small lips. I don't know. People are weird. Your, your, your soulmate may differ from what physical attributes you want to give them or even personality attributes. So keep that in mind. Never put anybody or anything in a box. Okay, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate y'all's time. It's always, 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 always. If you want a personal read, go to JustDreamGuy.com. Doing a half hour special until Thanksgiving. Also, I go live every day on TikTok and I just do um, collective readings. And then I, at the end, I do paid readings. Thank you all for watching as always. See you all next time.